In the New Testament, is it verifiable that Christians can be attacked and oppressed by demons? Come on. God used controversy. Look, I'm on the list. He used CNN. He used the media. He used all of it to grow a massive size platform. Controversy built our platform. Two gender. It was never about the controversy. It was never about the politics. I thought it was. I thought it was about Trump. I thought it was about COVID. But God built our platform for deliverance. We are headed more into seeing prophecy fulfilled before our very eyes. There's a kingdom of righteousness and there's a kingdom of darkness. Something in our being craves something supernatural. If you're addicted to something, you have company. And he said in the last days, the church will give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of demons. They will begin to listen to demonic doctrines. He doesn't mind you going to church. He doesn't mind you praising as long as you don't change. There's a great awakening that is coming. The kingdom of God is not about talk. Jesus is king. It's about power and demonstration. The state of the church in the United States, I believe, needs a reawakening of deliverance because of the evil that's going around. Christians can be under the influence of satanic oppression. 100% they can. You see, redemption and salvation is for the lost. Deliverance is to set the captives free. The Word of God says, these signs shall follow them that believe. The plan of the enemy is to keep the church quiet. Deliverance is for the people of God. Deliverance is for the church. I'm here to call this culture to Jesus Christ and cast out demons. Because these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out devils.